Hi everyone, welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. This is Yoshimi. Today I'm going to show you how to make Nanban Zuke. Nanban Zuke is Japanese style escabeche. When we make it, we normally use small fish, and today I'm using baby horse mackerel. But you can use whatever fish you like, any small fish or even fish fillet. Let's get started. These are what you need, some fish. Today it's a baby horse mackerel, but as I said, you can use whatever fish you like, even fish fillet will do. Some flour to dust the fish, 50 ml soy sauce, 50 ml vinegar, this one is rice vinegar, but you can use whatever vinegar you like. 3 tablespoons sugar, 2 onion, it can be 1, 1 carrot, 2 green peppers. Prepare Ziploc container, big enough to put the vegetable and fish in. 50 ml water, 50 ml soy sauce, 50 ml vinegar, 3 tablespoons sugar. And mix it well. And I'm going to cut the vegetable and put them into this container. Let's start with onion. Head and the bottom off. Peel the skin. Cut it in half. And let's slice this in here using vegetable slicer. I have two onions sliced into this container and the thickness of the onion is like this. It's very, very thin. Now carrot and green pepper. Let's peel the skin. Cut the top and the bottom off. And I'm making very, very thin diagonal slices. Very thin slices, like this. And let's drain it into thin, thin strips. Very thin strips of carrot. Let's put them in here. Green peppers. Cut it in half. And remove the seeds. And again into thin strips. Into the container and mix it well. Put it aside and let's prepare fish. Horse mackerel, even baby like this, have very spiky scale here. So I'm going to remove it and also the guts. Using kitchen scissors, you cut it here. This one. Spiky scale, all removed. So let's do the guts now. Make a small slit here. And using the tip of the knife, pull out the guts. Like this. Scale and the guts removed. So let's rinse it under running water, especially inside the belly, and dry it well using paper towel. Rinse under running water and make sure inside the belly is clean. Like this, and take it out on a paper towel. Another kitchen paper on top to dry them completely. And let's put them in the bowl of flour to dust. All coat it with the flour. Time to fry them. I'm heating up some vegetable oil. Let's check the temperature. Put the chopstick in and if small bubbles comes up, that means it's ready. So let's start frying them. Fry them about five to six minutes as you flip them over from time to time. Slightly browned, nice and crispy. So let's take them out and drain. I'm going to put the fish into this container while the fish is still hot. So let's push the vegetable onto one side and let's put half of the fish. 
a bit as much and put the vegetable on top of the fish all of them and let's put the rest here cover the fish with the vegetables put plastic film on top and press it down to the surface of the vegetable like this so everything is soaked in the sauce put the lid on and put this in fridge and leave it overnight I left it in the fridge overnight so let's serve some fish at the bottom vegetable on top Nambanzuke Japanese escabeche is ready to go because of the vinegar head bone and tail are all edible so it's full of calcium enjoy that's all for today thank you so much for watching more videos coming up so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything bye